Hello and welcome to another IFRS session brought to you by Aro Academy. At Aro Academy, we simplify complex reporting standards through targeted and practical training. In today's session, we're looking into IFRS 9 Expected Credit Loss ECL model and how automation can ease its complexities. Whether you're from a financial institution or a corporate setting, this knowledge will help you apply IFRS 9 principles accurately and efficiently in your organization. Let's get started. IFRS 9 is a core accounting standard for financial instruments. In effect, since January 2018, it brought a major shift in how financial assets are classified, measured and impaired. One of the most impactful changes introduced by IFRS 9 is the move from an incurred loss model to the expected credit loss, ECL model. This means provisions are recognised earlier, based on forecasted credit losses, not just when defaults occur. The goal? To improve transparency and prepare institutions for potential losses before they happen. We will also explore how RO Estimator 9 can automate ECL computations, helping you stay compliant and efficient. IFRS 9 enhances consistency in financial reporting by focusing on three core areas – classification and measurement, impairment and hedge accounting. It introduced principles that apply to both financial and non-financial institutions. Its most notable feature is the expected credit loss model for impairment. Unlike the incurred loss model under IAS 39, which waited for evidence of loss, IFRS 9 requires entities to estimate losses ahead of time. This helps in identifying credit deterioration early, contributing to a more resilient financial reporting system. IFRS 9 classifies financial assets, particularly debt instruments, based on the business model and the SPPI test. Debt instruments may be measured at amortized cost, fair value through other comprehensive income, fair value through profit or loss. This classification depends on two things, whether the instrument passes the SPPI test, that is, solely payments of principal and interest, and the business model under which the asset is held. In contrast, equity instruments are classified either at fair value through profit or loss statement, or fair value through other comprehensive income. However, when it comes to impairment, only certain debt instruments are relevant. Equity instruments are excluded from ECL computations. Impairment provisions are only calculated for debt instruments classified at amortized cost or fair value through other comprehensive income. These may include loans to customers, trade receivables, investments in government securities. Why was there a need for an expected credit loss model? The ECL model under IFRS 9 was introduced to address the weaknesses exposed during the 2007 global financial crisis. How do you compute the expected credit losses? The ECL model supports earlier recognition of losses by estimating credit risk before defaults occur. There are two primary approaches. General approach for most financial assets. Simplified approach, typically used for trade receivables and lease receivables. Entities can select suitable models such as the flow rate model or transition matrix model. The most widely applied method is based on the product of probability of default. Loss given default. Exposure at default. By multiplying the probability of default, loss, given default, and exposure at default, this method provides a reliable estimate of expected credit losses. To compute ECL effectively, entities must integrate three layers of information. Past events. Review historical performance of financial assets over three to five years. Current conditions. Assess if assets are performing, underperforming, or non-performing. Future economic outlook include macroeconomic factors like inflation or unemployment. IFRS 9 is principle-based. It doesn't prescribe a specific technique. You may use various models, but the end goal remains the same, producing unbiased, reasonable and supportable ECL estimates. Our full IFRS 9 training goes deeper into ECL modeling techniques and real-life applications. Despite its advantages, implementing IFRS 9 poses challenges. Firstly, ECL calculations are complex, requiring in-depth credit risk understanding. Secondly, data integrity is a major concern. Reliable ECL estimates need consistent historical data, accurate current inputs, and reliable future projections, data that may be spread across systems and departments. Lastly, many teams still rely on manual spreadsheet models. These models are not only time-consuming, but also prone to error. Maintaining multiple linked Excel files to calculate probability of default 
loss given default and exposure at default can be exhausting and inefficient. Arrow Estimator 9 is built with both power and simplicity in mind. It works seamlessly across all major IT platforms and web browsers, making it accessible in any environment. The software is intuitive and easy to use, requiring only minimal data input. Whether your organization is managing a high volume of transactional data or working with just a single quarter's input, RO Estimator 9 adapts effortlessly to your scale. It's a comprehensive solution that estimates exposure at default, probability of default with macroeconomic overlays, and loss given default, all within one platform. This integration improves accuracy and streamlines the entire impairment process. Model components are fully transparent, allowing easy validation and test checks by management and both internal and external auditors. To ensure you're supported from day one, we provide free on-site user training and a robust four-tier support system, available 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Aero Estimator 9 can also integrate directly with financial systems to automate the data flow. This reduces manual input and minimizes the risk of errors. And as regulatory standards evolve, free software updates keep your reporting aligned with IFRS and local requirements. Whether you're in a financial institution or a corporate environment, RO Estimator 9 is designed to make your IFRS 9 reporting process smooth, accurate and future ready. Let's recap the key benefits of RO Estimator 9. It's an all-in-one solution that estimates exposure at default probability of default with macroeconomic overlays and loss given default, improving accuracy across the board. The platform is easy to use, requires minimal data input and supports all major IT systems and browsers. Model components are fully transparent, making it easy for auditors and management to validate and test results. It can integrate directly with your financial systems, reducing manual work and minimizing errors. And with 24-7 support, free updates and flexible scaling, it's built for both financial and non-financial companies. IFRS 9 marks a fundamental evolution in how organizations manage and report credit risk. By moving from an incurred loss approach to a forward-looking expected credit loss ECL model, it encourages proactive risk management and timely recognition of financial impacts. Although the implementation of IFRS 9 introduces new levels of complexity, from data requirements to modeling choices, it also presents an opportunity. Solutions like RO Estimator 9 help streamline the process, making compliance more efficient and less resource intensive. With the right tools and training, your team can confidently navigate IFRS 9 and align with best practices in financial reporting. Thank you for joining us today as we explored the IFRS 9 Expected Credit Loss ECL, model. At Arrow Academy, we offer specialized training in IFRS 9 training and group accounting to deepen your understanding. Enroll in our upcoming IFRS courses to make your reporting seamless. Discover the Arrow Consolidation software designed to simplify consolidation and ensure compliance with financial disclosure requirements. Visit our website to book a demo and elevate your financial reporting experience.